Welcome back all you wonderful people. My name is Pug and I hope you guys are having a schwackadack day. Welcome back to the Black Hand Gaming Guild and in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue our blood magic. I did raise up our mob farm one level so that way we can go ahead and craft and make stuff in our blood altar without being impeded. Uh, today we are going to go ahead and semi-automate our slate making in our blood altar. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need is a transfer node, two chests, and a, a transfer filter. That's what we're going to need. So with that, um, let's go ahead and get a transfer filter. Transfer filter, we're going to need two redstone, two stones, a transfer pipe, and an item filter. For an item filter, we'll need four sticks, four redstone, and a string. So we're going to go ahead and make that automatically. And we'll make the item filter automatically and we'll place these in our crafters oh another thing is what we're going to need is we're going to need a basic filter from ender io so you just make that with paper and a hopper. So we'll go ahead and make that automatically because you never know when we're going to need something like that. Place that in there. And then we will go ahead and just... Uh, there we go. Okay. We've got our transfer filter We're going to need our filter and a basic filter anyways let's go ahead and continue on uh, we'll need two chests got one there and we need one more there we go and we'll need some item conduits We'll just need one of these. We will need a transfer node. Uh, item, item wise. There we go. And we are going to need uh, transfer pipes. Uh, I do believe that that's all the items that we're going to need to do this. So let's go ahead and go over here. And what we're going to need is a chest here and a chest here. Uh, another thing is what we're going to need is we're going to need a sl slate and a some stone. So let's go ahead and get 32 stone out. Okay, first thing is what we're going to need to do is put our transfer filter right onto the side of the blood altar. We'll right click it and instead of putting unlimited, we are going to put just single item. We can go ahead and filter this if we wanted to, to only put in what we want, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do single item at a time. Uh, from the chest, from the input chest, we are going to go ahead and put a transfer node. And we will go ahead and put our pipe right in between there. Now that should pump out one item at a time until this gets unfilled and then it'll continue on uh, to pump in one item at a time. On this, we want to go ahead and place a item conduit. 
make sure that this is is inserting and then we want to go into this side it's extracting I'm going to make sure that it is always active and we want to put in our item filter and put in a slate so that tells it that it'll only remove if there's a slate in here so now that we've got this set up this should uh, work properly and I'm not sure exactly what we needed this filter for I do apologize we didn't need this filter so now we will go ahead and put let's go ahead and put 10 10 stone in here and then it should take one there should be just one stone <clears throat> As soon as it makes a slate, this should grab it and put it into this chest. There it goes. And then it'll put another one in. And it's continuously going. So that way we don't have to sit here and click. The only thing that we do have to do right now is kill these mobs to make sure that the blood altar is continuously filled with blood. <clears throat> and we have our uh, divination sigil to make sure that we're not running out of blood anytime soon looks like that we've got plenty of mobs now I did also set up this over here to grab out items from the mobs that we kill so that way it doesn't go into our inventory all that much. Let's see here. What is this at? All right. We are doing so good on getting this slate. We got three more. Let's go ahead and sleep. Okay, another thing is what we need to do is we need to get our next tier. Since we've got the tier two altar, we need to get our next tier. Uh, blood rune uh, blood orb created so let's go ahead and get that done which is down here no it's not it's up here right here uh, it's going to be the apprentice blood orb and what you need is a tier 2 altar which we got we need a block of redstone and we need 500 LP or five excuse me 5,000 LP so let's go ahead and get this okay we are done with the with the slates let's see how much do we have in there we only have 4,151 so we need more LP in there so let's go ahead and continue to kill some mobs to get more LP. Okay, we've got 6,000 LP, so we are good to go there. I do like to have a lot more in there than what than what it actually says that it needs. There we go. 7,000 is pretty good. So we'll come down here and we will get our block of redstone. Got three already. And this should, if we put it in here, it will automatically put it in here and start collecting the blood. Mm 
but as soon as it gets to the orb it should not pull out because this is only filtered to take out slate but we do need to get it because it'll start sucking up blood and putting it into our personal LP and I really don't want to do that right now once we get this automated we will We'll definitely do that because it won't take out as much as it's actually putting in, is the theory in it. There we go. Now we've got our Apprentice Blood Orb. And what that will do is it will give us more, more LP into our personal... So now we've got 7,000, whereas it would only cap out at 5,000 to begin with. So with this, we can actually make other stuff. Uh, let's see here. We can go to use. We can make a lava crystal. We can continue to make our rune. Uh, blank runes with it, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep the runes as they are. We can make rune a sacrifice with it. It looks like that we have to have that to actually make the rune a sacrifice. See here, what else? We can make rune a cell sacrifice. We can make rune of orb. Make ritual rune which is something that we will get into later on we can make the imperfect ritual stone i don't know why you would want to make that and then we can also make our incense altar which is kind of what we want to do here pretty soon and we can make our alchemy table which i think that we've already got over here yeah we've already got our alchemy table so we don't really need to do that uh, speaking of that we need to eat that way we need to get our strength up uh, what else can we make out of this uh, and then we can make our wooden path which is definitely what we're going to need to do with our incense altar so with that do we not have any mobs to kill yes we do we got plenty of them there we go what are we at here we are at 6200 so we are going to need to make more slate Let's see here, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, five times four is 20. So we're going to need 20 blank runes to actually make a tier three. And I do believe that we're going to need redstone bl uh, blocks to put on top of here to make this a tier three altar, which is something that we're going to need to get done as soon as we can another thing is is what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to go ahead and store this blood for our tier three blood orb because you're going to need a whole lot more than what we can actually produce so with that let's go ahead and start working on that so what we're going to need to do is get a drum let's come over here because we're going to want to make these automatically later on uh, we're going to need an iron drum which is a cauldron iron ingots and weighted pressure weighted pressure plates which is just two iron ingots. 
Now, I don't think that we have any of this stuff made other than maybe the cauldron. We do have the cauldron created automatically. I don't think that we have the pressure plates. We do not. So let's go ahead and get our system to automatically make those. And then we can make it make the drum automatically. Put this down in here. And we're also going to go ahead and create a reinforced drum. Uh, it'll actually hold a whole lot more. So let's go ahead and have it create a reinforced drum, which is an iron drum, weighted pressure plates, uh, gold, and diamonds. So we don't have the weighted pressure plates for this created, so we'll go ahead and create those. And then we can do the reinforced large drum. There we go. Now we should have everything to create the reinforced drum. Go to our system and craft the reinforced drum. There we go. And now we'll need a here what do we need we need the <clears throat> oh my goodness uh, item fluid item conduit or fluid fluid conduits which I don't see that we have those automatically made Redstone conduits. So let's go ahead and conduits. We will do pressure fluid conduits. So we need these with fused quartz. There we go. I know we've got fused quartz automatically being made. So it's not that difficult to make those there we go and conduits we will go ahead and create one of these <clears throat> go ahead and sleep real quick There we go. What the wrong way? Alrighty, conduit. Not conduits, conduits. We just need one of those. And we're going to need a uh, a chest mover. Take this. And move that. And we'll move this over one. And place that back on top of there. And I want to go ahead and put the drum right here. There we go. And place our pressure right there. What that's going to do is, well, 
always active and then that'll start filling up our drum this will hold four million ninety six thousand fluid of blood so it'll probably take us a while to fill that up but all we're doing right now is just creating some so that way we have some extra so I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, off camera in between our next episodes so uh, with that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this episode here hopefully you guys are liking this series if you are hit the like button subscribe to my channel hit the little bell so you get notifications whenever I put up new videos and I'll definitely see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much.